Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, Mick here again. Uh, I'm going to be working on the headliner. Um, what I decided to do, since there wasn't a headliner in the 77 here, um, I found uh, some really slick looking uh, headliners that people have done on the Samba um, just using reed, so like bamboo reed. And, um, and I tried it out a little bit on the rear here, I'll show you in just a second. Um, I think it looks really slick. Um, you know, it's definitely not like as polished as probably a lot of people would want, but uh, I think it looks great. So I'm gonna do it and uh, and just document it uh, because I wish that uh, somebody had done that for me because I'm just flying by the seat of my pants here. So um, follow along and uh, we'll take a look. Here's the uh, reed headliner. Now it's not, you know, trimmed out or anything, but um, I think it looks pretty good for, um, you know, finding a material that that works, um, that conforms to the curve of the the bus ceiling. Um, I was thinking about using paneling of some sort or just buying a um, cloth headliner. Um, like on Wolfsburg's West uh, site, but um, you know they're super expensive, and I've heard that you have to take the windows out, and that that just sounds like too much for me. I don't really want to do that on this bus, so um, I'm gonna go with this. So I'm using these um, kind of strips here to hold it up, and. And I mean, I've been driving around with this for probably two or three hundred miles, and it's working well. Now, um, when I get to this portion over here, um, I'm gonna just do the same thing, you know, cover it in the reed, and, and then, just gonna put a, a large um, uh, piece to kind of cover the joint, and I'll I'll do the same up here, and uh, make a little cutout for the interior light. And what's tricky about this bus is it has this awesome sunroof. <laughs> um, I have to clean up some of the existing headliner in there, but um, you know I think it'll I think it'll look really sweet. It'll kind of go along with the uh, the whole Baja bus kind of feel that it already has. So I'm pretty pretty excited to get the rest of it done. Here's what the reed looks like uh, when you buy it in a roll. Um, it's kind of loosely bound and uh, doesn't look like much when it's uh, when it's out here. Um, so next up, what, what we're gonna do is do the center section of the bus. So uh, this section right here, and then I'm gonna work on the trickier task of getting the uh, the portion up here figured out. And um, it's going to be kind of tricky, I think, but I think we'll be able to get it figured out. Anyway, the back there, if you can see it, um, I think it looks pretty clean. So the center section is up next. So I measured the center section and uh, I'm going to do 48 inches um, by 54 inches wide. So 54 inches this direction and 48 inches wide from section to section, like the uh, ceiling uh, kind of frame member. So got it uh, cut and I used a four and a half inch angle grinder with a metal cutoff wheel and it, it cuts this stuff beautifully. Um, obviously you wanna wear eye protection, all that good stuff, but um, man, it, it creates a pretty good uh, cut on it all and uh, now we have to just place it and put the supporting uh, furring strips uh, up into the ceiling. We're getting there. The uh, center section is temporarily placed. And uh, what I found helpful was to um, cut, cut the furring strips and then placing them diagonally so that they don't lie completely how they will. Um, so that you can sneak the um, bamboo reed up into where it's going to be and then you can move these guys and shuffle them around. So I've, I found that that's, that's the easiest method 
that I could come up with. All right, so the uh, center section is in. Uh, it's not trimmed out completely, but um, you can see that it, it meets on this beam here, and it actually comes down a little bit, so they kind of meet um, right there. I'm gonna take this wider strip and, uh, and place that over this section to cover the joint, and then use these uh, slightly smaller strips uh, in place of these back here. So one will go right here, and then on the front, one will go right here. So next up, uh, I need to figure out the measurements for the, the front section. All right, we are finally done. I uh, got the um, sunroof section cut out and put a couple braces in, and it's, um, I think it's pretty freaking slick. I like the way it looks. Um, definitely for this tiki style um, bus, Baja bus kind of thing. Um, I really like the way it looks as you're passing, passing by. Crack windshield, of course, but <laughs> I think it looks pretty slick. Um, there is one section uh, right there that busted off, so I am going to have to um, replace that section, but I mean, you get an overall feel for it. So here's the crazy mess I have to clean up. <laughs> this stuff gets everywhere when you're snipping it and cutting it and stuff. So um, anyway, I'm going to get to that. But uh, thanks again for watching another episode of um, kind of tuning up and repairing this old uh, 1977 bus. Um, next up, I don't know yet. <laughs> so we'll catch up uh, and uh, see what's next on the list next week. Cheers.